See that coming. Get it, boy.
Finally. I'll explain later. Hands. Can you walk? Out of here I can. Stand still! of fire. I see naught before me but a guttering flame.
But to where? You. What did you do to Joshua? Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The world will soon be painted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The Blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Never led astray by your blind resolve. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. We don't have to do this. Oh, but we do. If only to remind you of your duty. Time since our last meeting, you have grown much. It doesn't.
special. I fear my lord will still find you lacking. This fire and fury, and for what? Stopping the blight. A foolish notion fed to you by a foolish man. How dead I have seen enough. If reason cannot sway you, there are other means of persuasion that might. you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. What are you saying? What I am saying... ...is that we dominance are a means to an end. We were created for you. That you might drink deep of our strength, and thereby fulfill your divine purpose. Which is? To feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord, in his mercy, has taken pity on his flawed creations, and shall see them restored to their proper forms. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. Manners, Lord Rossfield? They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are 
divine. You mean to turn everyone Akashic? Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put to use. <sighs> Clive! The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will be. Come, until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <sighs> Don't look back! Clive? Do you have a moment? Of course. Always. I wanted to give you something. Is this? I stitched it from the cloth you gave Hortense. The piece she said you liked best. I told her I used to enjoy needlework, but I didn't think she'd remember. It's beautiful, Jill. You didn't have to. When I was very little, I recall my mother telling me that young ladies of the court would give knights ribbons from their hair before they went off to war. I still wear mine, so I made you this instead. Black is the color of eternity. It cannot be stained. It cannot be sullied. It is unchanging, unwavering, just like your resolve. And mine. Our resolve. May it never diminish. And may it ever bring you back to me. I will always always be here. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> <laughs>